Good to he see you. Both. What do you think of what Chuck Schumer is now saying? Uh, thanks for having us on, Liz. Um, I think it's very interesting that uh, I guess they, they see now that, uh, you know, the, the working class people were uh, a huge factor in what got Donald Trump elected as president. And I, I don't think that, um, I don't think their message was not what we stand for, you know, not telling people what we stand for is, is how we lost that election. I think they told people what they stood for. And I, I think it was uh, a complete paradox to what the the working class American is. Um, I think what they were telling people that they stood for was uh, handouts and a lot of free things that they were promising that came off the backs of the the working class. That's a good point. I mean, the Democrats have been saying, you know, you didn't build that. The government helped you build that. You're too stupid to understand Obamacare. That was Jonathan Gruber, the economist, who said that. And Schumer is now saying, Bo, that Trump actually used he used American workers to get elected. Do you agree with that? Absolutely, he used them. He, he told us what we wanted to hear, and we put him into office. And so far, he's trying very hard to deliver on the promises that he made us. So, you know, you, I don't know if used is the right word, but he, he told us what we wanted to hear. And so far, he's, he's working very hard to make that happen. All right, so, I mean, it's been eight years where I think the American voter has seen what the Democrats are about, and I think it's really about, you know, incumbency is a problem. I mean, Nancy Pelosi has been around since the Reagan era. Chuck Schumer has been around for 30 years. And what they're suggesting, Bo, is m looks like more big government Bernie Sanders ideas than small government pro-growth tax cutter JFK. What do you think? Well, you know, if you look at our state, Liz, um, our state has predominantly been uh, a democratic state, and that's one of the reasons why uh, we're, we're doing what we're doing. Um, I'm a, a firm believer in term limits, and that's one of the reasons why we're, we're running for Senate. You know, we, we have a, a democratic uh, representative in, in Joe Manchin who, um, as you know, was, was for uh, Hillary Clinton and was opposed to President Trump. And, you know, his alliance with the Democratic Party, our state has turned completely around so much so that uh, we haven't carried a Democratic president since Bill Clinton's mm -hmm. uh, second term. And, and, you know, it, I think the people of this state have, have realized that how far that the Democratic Party has shifted over the last 20 to 30 years and that they're, they're starting to see that, you know, they're, they're not the... the party that they should be, and they're not representing this state the way that they should. You know, so we had Hillary Clinton and the Democrats going after coal uh, jobs, and now Chuck Schumer is saying he wants to go after uh, the big companies and gro in the grocery business and health care and the cable business. I mean, to that end, the Democrats have also reportedly settled on a new slogan and tagline for next year's elections, Bo. And it sounds really familiar, Bo. I want you to take a listen to the Demo what the Democrats' new slogan sounds like. Let's, let's listen. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> yeah, Bo, they're being made fun of for their new slogan. What do you think? Their new slogan, by the way, Bo, is a better deal. Uh, let's show it. A better job, uh, better wages, better future. I mean, let's see, make America great again versus that. What do you think? Well, I'm, I'm all for making America great again, for sure. Um, you know, you, you, can, you can slice things up the way you want to and, and serve it the way that you want to, but uh, ultimately, you have to know what kind of sus substance is uh, behind these kind of promises. You can't just throw those out there. And so they may be able to make a better wage or... Uh, whatever the rest of that tag is, but um, we, we need to see how they plan on doing it and see if it's something that's uh, viable to the American people. Yeah, for they're sure. making like there's a big government pizza pie of income that the government gets to slice up and hand <laughs> down, but that's not how it works, right, Bo? You've, you've seen that. Well, I know uh, for us, in anything we've ever wanted, we've had to go out and work for, so uh, I'm not sure that... Uh, not sure how much the government is, is slicing up and handing out. I'm, I'm sure we are uh, to plenty of people, yeah. and I think that's, uh, uh, I think those are the kind of people that we have to kind of try and wean off of the kind of, uh, kind of programs that we have right now.